Here's a massive update to the Mesh Wrapper tool that creates fake shadows and you can do it to any polygon. Here's a quick overview. Go right click, small hedge and click Mesh Wrapper and you can see it appears down there. Now oh, here's what it does. Let's turn on constant previews. We can increase the quality a little bit and click wrap and you can see it wraps around where it is pointing. So I covered that in the first video. Here's the changes. I'm going to turn on constant previews and you can now increase the amount of sides it has. So you can make it any regular polygon. If you were to increase or decrease the quality, it changes the amount of rings inside the polygon. So let's try this out. I'm going to click trigger per unit time and let's make it trigger uh, let's say a hundred times every second. If I were to click play and get my capsule and move it, you can see it creates these fake shadows underneath it into the terrain. Let's go to my mesh wrapper, click pause, let's see what's going on. And you can see where all the vertices are hitting and molding around the terrain. What you can also do is lock the values. Let's say the amount of sides, 30 sides is a good amount of sides. And let's increase the maximum vertices. So if I were to click get info at the moment, you can see there's 151. I'm going to increase it to like a thousand. So it will increase the quality until it gets to under a thousand vertices. Let's go get info again. Now there's 991. Now there is another way to get a circular shape. Instead I'm going to get the sides, bring it down to four. Let's go reset. The material I've got on it is shadow square. I'm going to put on shadow circle and it's just a material that links to this texture of a circle. So you click play again and it has the exact same effect as increasing the amount of sides. Got to click pause, turn on constant previews, you can see what's going on, but instead it's got a circular material underneath that. And the very last thing I'll show is of course you can change the rotation so you can make it spin around and it will do the same thing. I'll turn on constant previews. You can see that it points to that portion. So it's almost like a gun pointing at a wall. And if you did want to use this with a skinned mesh instead, you can go right click and go mesh wrapper skinned and you can now use the mesh renderer instead. If you want to have a look at it, you can check it out on my buy me a coffee page and I'll see you in the next one.